We're going to discuss circular permutations. This is Lesson 15.2c. We have six previous videos for this chapter. If you haven't seen them and you become lost or confused, just click the description to watch them and catch up. If we were planning a dinner party and had to make seating arrangements around a circular table for four guests, A, B, C, D, we wouldn't be able to distinguish among these four arrangements. Here we have A on the top, then it's on the right, then it's on the bottom, then it's on the left. But if you look, B, C, and D are still going clockwise around from where A is. It's because the table's a circle. One way to think about the problem of circular permutations is to fix one of the objects and then consider how the other objects are arranged with respect to the fixed object. For our four guests, suppose we fix guest A into one place, then arrange the other three guests. So here we have A always on the left, and we're going to change B, C, and D. Here B is on the top, and then we have C, D, and we change it to be D, C. Here we have C on the top, we have B, D, and then change it to D, B. Here we have D on the top, and then B, C, and C, B. And there's six circular permutations for the guests. And before we fixed guest A, we had only four permutations. So here's our theorem. The number of circular permutations of n objects is n factorial over n, or we could say n minus 1 factorial. We can find the number of permutations of five people around a table. We just do 5 minus 1 factorial, which is 4 factorial, which is 24. We can find the number of circular permutations of six people. 6 minus 1 factorial is 5 factorial. That gives us 120. We can find the number of permutations of eight numbers on a spinner. Spinners are circular. We do 8 minus 1 factorial is equal to 7 factorial, which is 5,040. And if we look at it as the n factorial over n, because see how it says or, we would be doing 8 factorial over 8, because there's 8 numbers on the spinner. And when we expand it, we can just cancel out these 8s. We end up with 7 factorial, just like we did here, which is 5,040. See? How many ways can 10 cheerleaders be arranged in a circular pattern? We do 10 minus 1 factorial, which is 9 factorial, which is 362,880. If we did it this way, we'd have 10 factorial over 10. When we expand the top, we can cancel out these two 10s and end up with 9 factorial, which gives us the same amount, 362,880. See? Our next lesson is combinations. We're going to be selecting elements of a set, combinations of n objects taken r at a time. We can also write it as ncr, which could be read as n choose r. I hope you're having a great day. And remember, if any of this is confusing, just click the links in the description and go back and catch up and figure out what you missed. All right? I'll see you next time. Bye.